Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, who is alive and not dead. And because he's alive, you and I have the right to life, and we have the right to life more abundantly. Today is day number 25 of us praying about living the abundant life. Amen. And so today, uh, day 25, we're going to be reading from Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 10 through 11. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 10 through 11 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all you who love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all you who mourn for her, that you may feed and be satisfied with the consolation of her bosom, that you may drink deeply and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. Amen. Amen. Today, as we pray about living the abundant life that God has for you and me, we want to go to God in prayer today and just pray that God would restore the joy of our salvation in abundance, that God would take us back to the time when he first saved our souls and that we would res that he would restore that joy in abundance to us personally. But then also we want to pray communally community-wide, and we want to pray that we would rejoice in the victory of others' salvation in abundance. And as we pray today and just ask God for his joy and, and helping us to rejoice, we want to do so in abundance. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank and praise you and glorify you for this day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Lord, we take this time to just praise you and, and thank you and glorify you and honor you, God, for who you are and what you mean to each one of us. Lord, you are our Savior, Jesus. We thank you for dying on the cross, and we thank you for shedding your blood for the remission of our sins. We thank you, Lord, for your substitutionary sacrifice. Lord, you didn't have to do it, for you knew no sin but instead you died in our place. Lord, you took our place upon that cross. You took the whipping and the beating and the, the cross and the nails and, and the jeering and all that came along with it and the shame. And Lord, that should have been us on that cross because we sinned and fell short of your glory. But Lord God, today we just thank you for salvation. We thank you for your death, your burial, and your resurrection. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for faith in the cross of Christ, and we thank you for eternal life in his name. Lord, we pray today that as we think back on our salvation, that you would give us an abundance of joy, Lord. Lord, help us to remember what life was like without you. Lord, help us to remember the day, the moment we gave our life to you. And Lord, restore to us the joy of our salvation. Let us rejoice over the fact that our souls have saved, are saved. Let us rejoice over the fact that our sins have been forgiven. Lord, let us rejoice over the fact that we get to live eternally with you. And Lord, let us rejoice over the fact that we get to live this life in you in abundance, the abundance of your grace and your love and your mercy and your forgiveness and the abundance of the material blessings you provide, the abundance of health and, and healing that you provide, Lord. Let us rejoice over our salvation. But not only that, Lord, let us rejoice in abundance over the salvation of others. Let us rejoice in abundance over the victory that you provide for others in the family of faith and in the household of your God, our God. Lord, we thank you and bless you for our family being saved. We thank and bless you for our children being saved. God, we thank and bless you for our brothers and sisters being saved in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank and bless you and praise you for those that have yet to be saved. We believe by faith, God, as we share our faith with others and as one plants the word of God and another waters that seed, oh God, we give you praise in advance that you're going to provide the increase. God, let us rejoice on Sunday mornings when people come to the altar and give their life to Christ. Lord, let us rejoice, Lord, in our prayer times with others that receive Christ even outside of Sunday worship, Lord. Let us rejoice when we hear 
through testimonies and through other people's reports about one person giving their life to Christ. Let us rejoice alongside of the angels in heaven over one person that gets their life right with you. Lord, we want to rejoice in abundance, not only for our own salvation, but for the salvation of others. Thank you for involving us in the kingdom enterprise. Thank you for involving us in the process of bringing people to Christ. Thank you for involving us, O oh God, in your mission, in your vision, to see the whole world saved. We give you joy. We give you praise. We, we rejoice, Lord, over our souls being saved, even as you're adding to the church daily those that are being saved. And we believe victory in their lives, and we celebrate the victory in our own lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number 25 of us praying about the abundant life, and we just want to rejoice in the abundant life that comes with the salvation of knowing and the security of knowing that our souls are saved by the name of Jesus and by his blood that was shed on the cross. So we give God praise for you. Thank you for being with us today. Come back tomorrow as we'll be continuing our daily prayer series, Living the Abundant Life. We love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.